to the ESU Warrior Coaches Show. I'm Chuck Cease. We are at Rudy's Tavern. It is truly a Pocono landmark. It is literally blocks from campus and lots of folks that have gone e through ESU have gone through the front and the back door here at Rudy's Tavern. I'm here with Kelly Deerdorf and Kelly, thanks so much for hosting the Coaches Show this week. No, we're very glad to. I'm happy to be here. You know, Rudy's has a long time tradition here in the Poconos. Like I said, most people that have come to ESU have gone through the front and the back door at Rudy's. Uh, your father even had a connection with the Stroudsburg University. Can you talk about that yeah. a little bit? My dad actually went to college at ESU and played football for at ESU. And when he went to Marine Corps, he came back and was helping out Coach Dowds for a little while coaching and then ended up came and started working at the bar full time so he ended up quitting school. But. but there's actually a story that goes around that that your father was able to actually stymie coach Denny Dowds a bit, a in a football bit. game. Well, and this is dad's side of the story but dad was in the Marine Corps in Quantico and they had a scrimmage. Coach Dowds brought everybody down and they uh, ended up Oh, they ended up, should we start over? No, the dog's asking for a super, actually. So they ended up coming down for a scrimmage, and this number 64 on the team knew all the plays. And they couldn't figure out why. Get 60, you know, trying to get 64, stop 64. And at the end of the game, he came up to the coach and was like, hey, coach. And he's like, Deerdorf. So, yeah, it's a great story. So Rudy's is uh, one of the unofficial spots for homecoming for ESU yes. fans. Yes. Yeah, we do a nice uh, parking lot party, and uh, we uh, have some music, and it's a nice day. Who's going to be performing this year? Uh, Flying Blind. Flying Blind, great band here in the local area. So come on down to Rudy's on the corner of Washington Street uh, in East Stroudsburg. As we said, a Pocono tradition. Kelly, thanks for starting us off tonight. Thank you. Thank you. We got lots more to do here on the Warrior Coaches Show. We're going to talk to ESU head coach Jimmy Tewilliger, defensive coordinator Mike Lackey. A couple of players are going to stop by as well. So uh, come on down if you're any well. Come on down to Rudy's next time you get the chance. We got more to come here on the Warrior Coaches Show. Stay with us. Welcome back. We are live in front of Rudy's Tavern on Washington Street in East Stroudsburg for the ESU Warrior Coaches Show. Week number three, I headed into week number four of the football season, and we're here with head coach Jimmy Tewilliger. And coach, it's great to get a win on the road against a very tough Seton Hill defense on Saturday. It was a great one, but Chuck, I gotta say, we're, we're at the corner in front of Rudy's. It's Thursday night. You know, we better make this pretty quick. Uh, no, I've, you know, it was a great game. Uh, we talked to last week about playing complimentary football defense. One of the all-time performances uh, I've seen by defense. Five turnovers, gave the ball back to the offense in great field position. Uh, Devin Bartholomew, one of the guys we'll talk to tonight, um, had an all-time you know, career game uh, and tied the school record for field goals, so that was really nice. It was just an all-around physical football game. My hat's off to Seton Hill. They did a tremendous job defensively, um, and we look to build on some of those victories that we had. Uh, we got a big one this week at Family Weekend versus Lock Haven. Now next weekend is another big game. Kutztown comes in, but it's also a day for big brothers and big sisters here at East Stroudsburg University. It's it's a unique one because, you know, I don't want to look past Lock Haven. Right. In two weeks, though, we are going to bring the uh, the Big Brothers Big Sisters. It's a it's an organization that's dear to me uh, in mentoring. Uh, Chuck, I sit on the advisory board for Monroe County, and some really good people doing some really good things in our community. Uh, so in two weeks, on October 1st, come on out to that game. But uh, if you're going to come out to that one, you better come out the family weekend uh, versus Lock Haven this week. What's going to be the key to beating Lock Haven this week? We have to we have to play to our capability. You know, we have we have a unique time where you know sometimes we play to the competition level, and we're going to fight that this week. Uh, I think defensively we know what we're capable of in a lot of ways, um, and keep holding that standard, holding that line, trying to get the ball back. You know, our defense had I think it was uh, three fourteen or three of seventeen three and outs versus Seton Hill. We we'd like to continue to build that offensively. We want to be able to control the ball. You'll see a, a heavy dose of uh, Matt DeLorenis. At, at quarterback uh, and mixed with some freshmen, Sean McTaggart and Aaron Tobias uh, being able to, to take some snaps uh, with Jake being unhealthy this week. Uh, but we're excited about it. Um, Want to play great in the kicking game as always. 
want to be fast and physical, start fast, finish strong, and have a good one on Saturday. I smell supers cooking. I can smell it out here on the front curb of Rudy's. Well, I just had Bob Madsen, a, a Rudy's local. Uh, you know, he, he's frequent this place. We just ordered 60, 60 bucks worth of, uh, of supers, so we'll all be eating pretty good tonight. Nice. So we've got more to come from the Warrior Coaches Show. Stay with us here from Rudy's in East Stroudsburg. I'm Chuck Seas from Bigfoot Country 1031. We will have live coverage of Saturday's game uh, against Lock Haven starting at 1230 with the Warrior pregame show, the kickoff at 105 over at Eiler Martin Stadium. Stick with us. More to come here on the Warrior Coaches Show. Welcome back to the ESU Warrior Coaches Show. We are live in front of Rudy's Tavern on Washington Street in East Stroudsburg with a crowd of a dozen or so folks with us here. And I'm pleased to be joined by ESU Defensive Coordinator, Coordinator Mike Lackey, who was a graduate assistant here at East Stroudsburg University and then went to the University of Missouri and now comes back as the defensive coordinator. So, Mike, what was that four years like for you in Missouri and what were you able to bring back to the Poconos from the University of Missouri and your experience there? It was, it was a great experience at Mizzou. Uh, got to work with some really, really good coaches. Um, got to really work under two great head coaches in Coach Pinkle and Coach Odom. A couple really good defensive coordinators, a couple really good D-line coaches. And um, got to work with some really great schemes there, and we took a lot of that back with us here. For decades, the Warriors have been known as an offensive team. And defense was kind of like, well, if they score 34, we're going to have to score 35. And if that's what happens, we're going to do the best we can. But that's, we'll, you know, see how it falls. But now defense has become, you know, somewhat much more respected around the conference. And I think your uh, regime, as you might say, under, as the defensive coordinator, has had a lot to do with that. What has the mentality been like to change that here at ESU? Uh, really, that mentality has never really been part of our thought process on this defensive staff. Uh, we want to stop you every time you go out. Uh, we don't want to give up anything. If the offense scores any points, we got to do our job and get the win. So it's we're, we want to stop them every time they get out. We want to get off the field, get back to get back to the bench. All right, now we're going to step off of football a little bit. Mike and I have uh, have young children in our life that have been new additions. For Mike, uh, a son that's now seven months old. For me, a granddaughter that's now 13 months old. So you know we share, we trade notes. But I want to ask you, uh, which is worse? The 4 a.m. feeding or the poopy diaper change? I mean, for me, it's it's definitely the diaper change. I mean, my wife, I got to give Jesse a ton of credit. She does most of the 4 a.m. feedings. And by most, I mean pretty much all of them. Um, I'll, I'll do a poopy diaper here and there, but most of the 4 a.m. feedings are, are just taking care of all of it. She does an amazing job with Jack. Believe me, the preparation that goes on in my house just to get me to change a poopy diaper, the tub has to be full of tepid water because you don't want it to be too hot. There's gloves, there's goggles, there's lots of things involved. And that doesn't change as a grandparent because they'll take the 4 a.m. feeding, but they always let you change the poopy diaper. So that, that's not going to change in the future at all. Uh, all right, I got a trivia question for you. What are the state nicknames of Missouri and Pennsylvania? Missouri's the show me state. Very good. Pennsylvania. Uh, oh, the, the Keystone State. The Keystone, Keystone state. state. Very good. Very good. ESU uh, defensive coordinator, uh, Mike Lackey, thanks for the time. Thanks for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. It's the ESU Warrior Coaches Show from Rudy's Tavern on Washington Street in East Stroudsburg. We've got more to come. A couple of Warrior players are going to join us next. Welcome back to the ESU Coaches Show at Rudy's Tavern. I'm Chuck Cease with Devin Bartholomew and Darren Blackwell, two members of the East Stroudsburg University football team who are too young to be in Rudy's, aren't you? No, I just turned 21. Oh, well, congratulations. You can buy me a beer when we're done. Sure. All right, way to go. All right, now, we're going to start with Devin, who's a kicker, had a great game last week, five out of six on field goal attempts, and you had the, the sixth one right down the middle, just a little bit short, but 
Uh, what is it like to play special teams here for, uh, for East Stroudsburg University? It's a lot of fun, honestly. I get a lot of love from the team. Um, it's, it's a lot different than high school special teams, I, I will say that. Uh, when you get to college, the team, like, when you're out there, like, they're all eyes on you. Like, my team is just cheering for me constantly. So I have a lot of fun with it. I enjoy it a lot. Cool. You now lead the PSAC in scoring uh, because of your performance last week. Again, five out of six. Uh, now, I've been told that Coach Dowds used to teach kickers that kicking a football was very much like a golf swing. Have you ever heard that theory? Yeah, so when I started out kicking, I didn't have a coach for most of it. So my dad, he plays golf and related it to, to golf to teach me how to kick. And so what is it about? Is it like how the downswing comes through? Is like your foot coming through the ball? So my, my leg is like the the club, my leg and foot. So if I swing straight, the ball's going to go straight. If I pull it left, the ball's going to go left. If I open it, then uh, the ball's going to go right, just like a golf ball. Maybe you could give me some golf tips when we're done, too. I'll buy you the beer. <laughs> All right, which is more difficult, converting a 50-yard field goal or kicking it into the end zone for a touchback? Kicking it into the end zone for a touchback. Why? For me, it's my run-up. I can't. I, I struggle with my run-up a lot. I actually just started doing kickoffs again about two months ago. So I've been doing field goals for since senior year of high school. And honestly, I, field goals have just become like automatic for me. But kickoffs, I'm still still kind of learning. All right, Devin, thanks. I'm going to pivot over to Darren. Kickers get a reputation as being goofy. Is he goofy? Uh, he's awesome, man. He's, he is goofy, but he's awesome. Happy to have him on the team, honestly. Darren Blackwell, defensive lineman for the East Stroudsburg University Warriors, also the co-chair of the SA. AC on campus. Tell us what that is. So basically what my job is is to be the middleman between the national sack and for East Stroudsburg University and all of East of the East Coast teams. So it's Cutstown, Bloomsburg, Shippensburg, you know, P Lock Haven. And basically just kind of let them know what's going on. I don't want to say dumb it down, but basically just do that. Let them know what's going on as far as a national standpoint. And, and what is the sack? Tell us what that is. SAAC. Student Athlete Advisory Committee. So what we are, we are the voices of our students. You know, okay. uh, actually voices of our athletes. You know, uh, a lot of a lot of problems come up. A lot of different things tend to happen from time to time. And because of, they tell us, and we go to tell you know our presidents, and then our presidents go to tell the SAC board, and the SAC, SAC board then goes to tell national SAC board to hopefully make a change and make sports better for us in the long run. All right. Now we're going to pivot from football, as we've done pretty much uh, with everybody here tonight. <laughs> Darren is also an accomplished track athlete, and you specialize in the throws. Yes, so correct me if I'm wrong, but the four different throws that you that we're gonna we're gonna get rid of the javelin. That's out. Yeah, that's but we've got the weight, we've yes, got sir. the hammer, we got the shot, and we got the discus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And correct. which one is your favorite discipline? The weight, honestly, sir. Why? Um, you can call me Chuck, by the way. We, we <laughs> yes, Chuck, yes, Chuck. Uh, to be honest with you, there's nothing more satisfying than throwing a 35-pound ball far. Honestly, it's, it shouldn't be going far. It's 35 pounds. It's heavy. It's not meant to, for the human body to be throwing. And when you see that thing in the air and you're watching it soar, almost like soaring with the eagles, it hits a spot 60, 50, 70 feet. That, there's nothing more satisfying than that, honestly. Now, is there a lot of difference in the technique? For, for each of those disciplines? Yes, sir. So weight's, weight's an indoor, and how do I can describe that? If It's a 35-pound kettlebell, you know, and that's more of a group man sport, more of a bigger guy, more of a lineman sport, because you just grip and rip it. Now, when we go outside, we have hammer and chopper and discus. Now, with the hammer, hammer's a little bit more finesse. You want to be more technical sound. You want to be able to have the ball come to zero and really push to 180 and make sure you get the ball in a nice orbit. That's in order to go far. If you're pulling the ball with, with, with hammer, it's not gonna it's not gonna go work. You're gonna get very frustrated, let me tell you. I know firsthand. <laughs> this case is a little bit more, not as much, it, it's technique, technical, but you can get away with bad technique if you're big and strong, right. you know, which I'm not, so I have to be very technical. Uh, so that's more of a mental thing. Right? Make sure you hit the middle, make sure you get your left foot down, and, and make sure you really finishing high and making sure the, the discus is releasing at a certain angle. Shot put is my worst event, hands down. I struggle in the shot put. I don't understand it. I, it's the science behind it. Okay. I also don't get why people like to put 16 pound metal cold balls in the neck right. and, yeah. and, and throw it far for some reason. Don't understand that. But same with that, it's kind of like it's kind of like discus as far as technique wise, seeing left foot down. But it's a little bit more technical sound, in my in my opinion. It, so. And it's been said that every man should know their limitations. So you know, you find out that you know, there's not. I'm not good at ballroom dancing. So you know, uh, we one more for you. We're gonna play true or false. 
True or false? You wear your track tights underneath your football uniform. True. I didn't know that. True. I'm surprised. I would have bet false. I know. Actually, it's a lot more comfortable, okay. honestly. Gives me more room to do what I got to do. So, yeah. You need room down there. Yes, yes sir. Yes, right. we do. Darren, thank you so much for the time. Devin, thank you so much for the time. Get out after it against Lock Haven on Saturday. Thank you so much for having me. Family weekend at Idler Martin Stadium. Kickoff at 105. We'll have the pregame show on Bigfoot Country 1031 at 1230 on Saturday afternoon. Thanks to Rudy's. Thanks for everybody for being here. Thanks to you for watching. We'll see you next week from Bovino's in the Poconos on the Warrior Coaches Show. Take care. Hey, good job, guys.